I was made for battle, Lord. So I have a, I have a list of some prophetic words here, but Pastor D's just released about half of them. So let me just pick up from where she left off. Um, and, and the Lord began to deal with me. And, and, and this year, you know what? I, I'm not even going to bother flogging it. If you, if you just want to drive past stuff like this, that's fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm very, 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 very indignant this year about declaring that, yes, I am a prophet and I do hear God. And when I speak, he will answer. Amen. And if you tap into it and it doesn't come to pass, come and say it publicly. Uh, but, but God said that there are some of us that in this last season that he has allowed conflicts in your lives because he was training your hands for war. And that in, uh, uh, let, me, let me back up a, a prophetic word. First of all, God was dealing with me before the year ended last year about the fact that this year we shouldn't be talking to him about his word for the year. We should be talking about his word for a decade. Okay, I'm going to drive past that one. Or should I come back? I repeat, in 2020, God isn't dealing with us. Don't, don't go anywhere just yet. God isn't dealing with us about a year. He's dealing with us about a decade. Lord, give me a decade, church. I said he's dealing with us about a decade. In essence, this year, God is constructing and making promises and working things out that will last a 10-year cycle. And the first thing he's doing is he's recompensing for a decade. He is paying back what was lost in a decade. Second thing he said to me, was that I should go back over every single word he has given us as a house for a year. And I think it was in our third year, or was it the fourth year that we started having yearly themes? We didn't start it because everybody was doing it. Everybody was doing it long before we started it. We started it before he gave us a word. And he said, son, this decade, I want you to go back to every single word I gave and I will give them to you next week one by one uh, as a promise for the decade. In essence, it's not just a year of fullness. It'll also be the year of some resets. Continue. Does that make sense? It'll also be the year of a new beginning. It'll also be the year uh, of, of kingdom influence and dominion. It'll also be the year of, of ascension and, and all the rest of them. Does that make sense? The third thing he said was, uh, and Pastor D just hit the nail on the head, was that some people have been in the backside of the wilderness and he's about to put you on front street. And the reason why you have had personal issues is he says he's been training your hands to war. But he promised you that this year you will spend more time warring for his purpose than warring to survive. Does that make sense? So some of you have been fighting just to be sane, fighting just to be able to pay your bills, fighting just to be able to walk on your feet in health. God said the same energy he has trained you to expend, you will expend this year, but or this decade, sorry, but it will not be defensive any longer, it will be offensive. Does that make sense? So you will still pray, you will still fast, you will still feel pressure, but it won't be pressure to tread water, it will be pressure to increase. Does that make sense? The same amount of effort it took just to pay your bills is what you will use to acquire property and land and wealth. Does that make sense, somebody? The same amount of effort it took just to be able to walk in health, you will use it to heal the sick. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, I wish I had a people who heard the word of God this morning. And it's going to tell us that the reason why we have been seemingly lurching from one war to another is because like this, that's why I chose the song to sing that we are a house of war but he said this year son you won't be warring to hold your house together you'll be warring to hold the kingdom together around your house for the siege is over for the plague is ended says the Lord and the third one I want you to pray concerning this. There's two words that from the day Pastor Chichi left this altar have been burning in my spirit. In fact, Timmy's probably sick and tired of hearing me mention one of them because we talk about it every now and again. And the two words are one, that in the day of your power, your people shall be willing. The second word is the song unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly and far above all you can ask or think or imagine unto him be glory honor and power and so we're going to pray two things the first one is in the day of our power of our house but also your personal life and one of the tricks of the enemy is when it's a day of your power pastor d 
your people stop being willing people who should help you mentors mentees friends openers door openers uh, uh, business partners satan knows that he can't stop the season but he can work in the free will of other people to, uh, to to stop you from being able to take full advantage of the season but the beautiful thing about our god is when one door shuts to open when one person says no to say yes driving back on that day from from here with pastor chichi in the car she just looked at me and from nowhere we hadn't discussed anything nothing was going on at the time and she looked at me and she said israel she just grabbed me in the car and she said israel when one person leaves your life the covenant is 10 walk in now i'm using life she used something else but she just said 10 for one now i want you to stand and lift up your voice and say god start with yourself so so you can get the prayer going before we come to our house you see i'm i'm learning some tricks this year some prophetic tricks so pray for yourself first to get yourself warm and say lord every person that is required for your purpose in my life in this season i declare be willing come on begin to speak you, you know you can program people in the spirit realm if you do it in line with god's will it's prayer if you do it outside god's will it's witchcraft but it's the same process say every person oh Jesus give me three people who are ready to break into another dimension this year I'm not talking about just increasing Larry you can you can step down now I'm not talking about just increasing in your purpose I'm talking about seismic shifts I'm not talking about being promoted from an assistant manager to a manager I'm talking about being promoted from an assistant manager to a director say God open the hearts of those who are required for my destiny come on somebody pray one person's decision could save you hundreds of thousands of money one person's decision could save you 10 15 20 years one person's favor could mikando reka bapa nikata nikoto reka ya. One person not doing something stupid could save you energy that you require to shift something to another level. Say, God, this is the day of my power. My people will be willing. My children will stop acting crazy. Apareko, my family will get it together so I can move forward in my destiny. Men and women will favor me. My clients will appear. My partners will invest. My government will legislate in line with my purpose. My teachers, the Bible says, your teachers will appear. My mentors who have what I need to move forward come on somebody Lord do in one year what 10 years could not accomplish by the power of willing people do in 12 months what 12 years could not accomplish by the power of willing people they will drag me they will force me they will beat me even when I want to say no they will encourage me they will inspire me while we're still praying let me give you a scripture for that the Bible says that the word or the spirit of Jesus is the testimony of Jesus sorry is the spirit of prophecy the word of God is prophetic in itself. There was a man who the Bible says was lame. I don't know anybody here feel like you've been lame in the last decade. And there have been things. To be lame means you have limbs that don't work. You're not lame if you're amputated. That's not lame. Lame means you've got the apparatus. You've got the capacity. You've got the potential. You have what it takes to move. But your nervous system has shut down. And for some reason you can't. And the Bible says the man was lame and Jesus was somewhere and he was preaching and there was a crowd. And it says he had four crazy friends. Look at your neighbor say, are you my crazy friend this year? Come on, look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor. Say, I need you to be crazy on my behalf. Oh, Jesus. Tap somebody, say, I need you 
to go buck wild on my account this year he had four lunatics in the spirit and they put him on a bed someone say a bed what should have been a symbol of his lack of capacity suddenly became a war chariot are you hearing me somebody it oh, oh. Ah, God, help me Patch, help me help me help me help me baby see, see what should have been uh, the sign of his inability to move when he had four lunatics for friends they picked up his bed and they said you're going to get healed today whether you like it or not and so they picked up his place of incapacity and they carried him to the house and when they got there and they saw there was no room he probably said let's go home they said no 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 we've come too far and so without permission they climbed somebody's roof there are some roofs in your life that belong to somebody else that you don't have permission you don't have authority you don't have jurisdiction but there's someone coming into your life this year who's going to say forget permission forget jurisdiction we are going up and they climbed the roof and they broke it oh Jesus I'm talking about limit breaking relationships God give me all you need is four for and your set limit breaking relationships people who remove barriers you don't know how to speak they remove it you don't have money we'll invest you don't have connections we'll, are you hearing me somebody you don't have wisdom we know the know how they take your capacity your skill your gift and they open roofs that would have stopped your ascent and they break it Makai help me out and they break it they break it and the Bible says they then dropped his bed at the foot there are relationships connections see some connections get you in the door Pastor Tunji but some connections put you at the foot of the person who can help you some connections get you in the room but money some connections get the attention of the man or woman who can say yes or no and they dropped him at the feet of Jesus they said we're not gonna take a chance as to whether Jesus notices you or not Jesus is busy he could see you and say next year but we're gonna interrupt his sermon interrupt his schedule interrupt his plans and put you at his feet and finally the Bible says the Bible says Jesus looked at their faith and said to him he looked at their faith and said to him I'm talking about people whose covenants with God sister Patsy God will look at their covenant and say to you look at their giving and say to you Kenton God will look at their prayer life and say to you there are relationships that borrow you their transactional Timmy God will look at their experience and say to you Larry God will look at their skill and say to you sister Sherry God will look at their decisions and override your mistakes somebody lift your hands and say God in the day of my power let my people be willing pray say God in the day of my power let my people be willing wake them up bless them for my sake fight their battles so they have focus on my agenda deal with their personal issues so they can focus on my agenda see this is why the Bible says that we must make prayers for all men everywhere because you don't know who is your person waking up in the middle of the night Minister Elizabeth to speak in tongues could solve a problem in the life of the person that God has ordained to shift you and their focus on their issue is keeping their attention from you but when God fixes their problem then they can remember you are you hearing me somebody
so there are times where God has to help someone out to deal with what they cannot deal with so they can help you deal with what you cannot deal with but there is another time like Mordecai where God has to give them a problem to put their attention on you where God has to shut something down in their life like the king so they can't sleep so they can open the book and say five years ago Pastor Tunji did this for me what can I do in response somebody open your mouth and say Lord however you need to get the attention of our people get wake them up let them sleep whichever way either wake them up or give them rest you know the score in the day of your power in the day of my power in the day of my power my people shall be willing they will be willing in the brightness in the brightness of my rising let your name be glorified now I want us to pray the same for our house don't worry I'm not going to preach long today I've got a 10 minute word and say Lord in the day of our power cause our people to be willing now you better bring that same energy open your mouth and pray ah God said to his servant in the Bible, I have many men in this city. Come on, open your mouth and pray. I have many men in this city. There are many men in this city who are our people. Some who should be here on a Sunday, others who should not be here on a Sunday, but are still our people. Open your mouth and pray. Say, God, in the day of our power, let our people be willing let a burden arise let a bur- come on come on come on come on force them compel them give them no rest speak to them drug ekanama sonene oh yeah yeah oh Sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, bring into alignment with our purpose as a house. Bring into alignment with our purpose as a house. Financiers, laborers, gifted individuals, artisans, technocrats. Come on, somebody. Open the tulip gates. Open the tulip gates. Shout out of our sire. Open the tulip gates. Shone na 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 ma 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 Sons and daughters of rising up, rising up, rising up. Your sons and daughters are rising up in this place. Your sons and daughters are rising up, rising up. They are rising up. Your sons and daughters are rising up in this place. And now the second word is unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that we can ask or think or imagine. That's a beautiful side. But the next phrase says, unto him, be. And this morning, God said to me, God said, son, the last three months, you haven't gotten the fullness of that word. 
what it means is in this season the one we've been giving glory to all along will be the one who is able to do does that make sense it's not asking us to give him glory if you've already been giving him glory he's saying the glory you've been given as vapor I'm about to send as rain as the one who can do beyond Jennifer beyond see he will blow literally I've been saying this for two weeks he will give you a migraine this year this decade with what he told you like uh, yes I, may God give you a literal migraine with the enormity of what he shifts I don't mean a long-term migraine I mean a five-second migraine where you're like wow it says if I be lifted up above the earth I'll draw men to me how do we lift him up by singing true by worshiping true but the most important way we can lift him up as the body of Christ is by our rising the Bible says kings will be drawn to our light or Gentiles to our light and kings to the brightness does that make sense of our rising the most effective form of evangelism is for people to look at you and say what shall we do open your mouth and say God unto you who are able come on begin to pray say this is my decade I had a fight in December should it be fullness or emergence fullness or emergence the Holy Ghost said fullness the day after or the week after sorry he said fullness I heard my father in the Lord declare Bishop Bismarck that this decade will be the decade of emergence I said thank you Jesus so I get fullness in one year and emergence for a decade you will emerge open your mouth and pray you will blossom you will become far more than you oh Jesus father Israel Olumide Isiave is becoming exceedingly abundantly far above all I can ask or think it is to you I give my glory the king maker the king maker the star builder the star birther make me great come on somebody pray make me great make me significant 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 make us great make us 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 significant make us come on somebody say make us significant make us great 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 make us significant make me great Make me significant. Make me significant. Make me great. 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 Make me significant. Put your hand on your head as you say it. Make me significant. Make me great. Make me significant. Make us significant. Make us great. Make us great. Make us great. Make us significant. Make us great. Make us great. Make us significant. Great. 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 Visualize it as you say. 
Begin to give him glory. Hallelujah. Just trust me, I saw something. Give him glory. Hallelujah. I saw. I said I saw something. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise in advance. Hallelujah. I love you too much to allow you not give him praise for what I just saw. If it takes the whole service until you get there, I said get Hallelujah. 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 God. We praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. God. Thank you. We praise. Thank you. We praise. Thank you. We thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Now somebody thank clap you, your hands you, for you thank people. Thank you, thank you, Lord. And shout to God. Hallelujah. sit down sit down if you don't need to 